Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a video for DDJ SRT 1000s. Um, new Max. Just received my new Mac. I was getting everything set up. Installed the drivers, and when I go to plug it in, let's see if I can get this in with one hand. There we go. Proceeds to load with Serato. Music. It is working in correct order. Receiving. And no audio driver error um, on the display. But as you can see, everything works in correct order. Everything's working in correct order. The controller's working in correct order. I just received no display. So, this is a fix for you. So open up your browser and type in pioneerdj.com. And from there, you're going to navigate to the support page and software and firmware updates. This is going to take you to their product line. So you want to navigate down to the DDJ SRT, 1000 SRT rather. And this is going to take you to their firmware and drivers update page. Um, now the firmware is going to be relevant to your actual controller to keep the controller up to date, the hardware of the controller up to date. But in this case, we want to go down to the drivers. In drivers, you're going to see a number of different links. Um, so you want to read which one and find which one is relevant to your system and your operating system. In my case, I have the Mac OS Monterey with the Apple M1 chip. So this one is relevant to my system. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And once the download is complete, I'm going to open up my download folder. I'm going to unzip the file and open up the respected file. Now from here, I suggest that you do a fresh install, meaning you first go through the uninstall first and you uninstall any, any drivers that you've already installed. Because um, the reason being is it's very easy to accidentally install the incorrect driver. Um, especially if you're just going through, oh, here's a driver. You just click on something real quick. Um, so go through the and uninstall first. Open up. And once you open, it's going to prompt. It's going to automatically uninstall and prompt you to restart your computer. Now, once your computer, I've already done this, um, so I'm not going to restart my computer again. But once you uninstall and you restart your computer and your stupid computer boots back up again, go ahead and open up that folder and go through the install process. And from the install process, um, it's gonna take you through a step-by-step. -step. You're gonna go press continue, go through a step-by-step -step to install the new driver. And once you hit install, it's gonna prompt you to enter your password. Now, once you enter your password, the installation will be complete. You're gonna go ahead and close here. It'll ask you if you do it just as a, a convenience. Do you wanna move it to your trash? You can go ahead and move that to your trash. Close out. Eject. And very, very important is just like you needed to reset your computer to finalize the, the uninstallation, you have to reset your computer again. And this is to finalize the installation of the driver. So go ahead and head over to restart. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording and um, I'll see you after I restart my computer. All right, now we're on the reset screen. We're going to allow this to reset. I'm going to enter in my password, one moment. Now, the drivers that you have just installed have finalized, if you will. Now we're going to go back open Serato DJ. Now this time, when we input, when we plug in the SRT,
because those drivers have finalized, we're no longer gonna get that error on our And now we have successfully installed the drivers. It's connecting. I can go to any song now, load it up, and we are good. Once again, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, go ahead and send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help out how I can. And um, that's all we have for today. Signing off.